views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Wow. Welcome. I'm so great to be F. I'm so great to be connected with all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in, turning us on, and wow, supporting the Dr. Pacho and Transformation Talk Radio the way you have. And it is such a blessing to be here, be connecting with all of you on this amazing day. Let me give a shout out before we kick off the show here uh, to Mr. Benny. Hello, Mr. B. What's up, Pat? Yeah, good day. Great day in paradise. Wonderful day in paradise. Wonderful day in paradise. Yep. Well, you know, we've got a great show. Great show. I was reading an article, Benny, and and I'll tell you what I was reading. I was reading an article about radio. Actually, I've been reading about 10 different articles about radio. you got to stop doing that. You should focus on one article at a time. I know. I should. But, you know, here's what's happening. Across the globe, there's this idea about certain kinds of radio that are clearly not providing the listeners what they want. Now, I got to tell you, that's not what we're talking about here on this station. It's not what we're talking about at WBLQ. It is not what we're talking about um, on any or all of the Transformation Talk radio networks. It's just not. But there's something that, that happens here on these channels, which does not happen on the other channels. And I was reading about it. And one of the things I read about was they talked about radio and how it's changed over time. And I'm actually going to be doing a short video on it uh, here uh, later on today. But they talked about how it's changed. The thing that they did not acknowledge and they don't acknowledge is this particular type of talk radio, which is content solution-based talk. This is talk radio that takes us back to a time before FCC regulation, before deregulation with Reagan. This takes us back to a time where people want information and want to be entertained, and it delivers. Now, what we're doing is really kind of coming out and saying, hey, wait a minute, you don't have to be saddened by your favorite shows going away. We're going to tell you how to tune in and turn on. And what I love about what we're doing here is we're bringing a level of truth out to people about what talk radio is and how it's happening in different aspects of this genre, these stations, whether you're tuning in. And, you know, and I keep saying this, and I'm going to apologize to all of you right now. I know I keep referring to WBOQ and KKNW and Transformation Talk Radio, and you guys keep emailing me and saying, oh, wait a minute, I'm listening at WKTY in Sarasota. And that's because we've made our stream here at the Dr. Pat Show and Transformation Talk Radio freeware. That means that we give you a plug-in and you can plug it in and boom, there you go. So the truth really is that this particular style of radio is the most popular style of radio to date. It is the style of radio where we just get together and have inspiring, informative conversations. And it's not just me. It's the many hosts that you hear throughout the day because you're plugging in that do this. And I'm introducing you to somebody that's joining our radio family, Deb Acker living from your truth. This is exactly what we're talking about, living from your truth. 
You know, I, I was really um, blown away by something that happened with us a couple of weeks ago, actually a month ago. You know, my person that manages our account there at uh, KKNW did something interesting with our banner and put us on another station. And what happened was we had this interest that came back to the Dr. Pat show from a completely different arena. Now, why is that? What is really going on with the shows here, the shows on TTR, the shows on WBOQ, the shows on KKNW? What are people doing? Deb Acker knows. Living from truth. That's what this deal is about. For those of you, I'm so thrilled to be introducing you to, you know, Deborah's an international coach, helping people all over the world break through their patterns, move patterns, move into authentic truth. What does authentic truth mean? I can't wait to talk with her today about this. But as part of this, she has studied with some of the world's top consciousness leaders. Yes, it is okay to say consciousness. And let me let me just tell you, not isn't it just okay? It is the absolute truth of what is happening now and she's been featured on shows in chicago and chicago is one of those talk radio places where they are so hungry for content like this she's also a teacher she's a blogger but most importantly she is the founder the creator the person that has come out and said i'm gonna be talking to people about living living from your truth that's what today it's got a fabulous hit show that is coming to the forefront you got to find out all about that But here's what she says. In a world when you're conditioned to be like everyone else, how do you break through patterns and overcome fear to choose you? Deb, welcome to the show. Hi, Dr. Pat. Thank you so much for having me. So excited to be here. Yeah. So I love this because I was just sharing with Benny. Benny and I have been together 13 years. And I've been sharing this with Benny. I've been reading some articles. And I've been reading about what different radio networks are going through. And I want to tell you, it's really kind of interesting, is that the truth really is hard for some people to hear. But, you know, here's what I love about this is, you know, we're not run by some big conglomerate. We're not run by some, you know, program directors that say what we can or cannot say. And showing up authentically is what our listeners want. So here's my question for you. How did you figure out that this was your message? that living from truth or living from your truth is what you wanted to bring out in the world. What is it that you had to discover about yourself to bring this to the forefront? So I had to first determine, so actually my journey started with, um, I was attracting the same type of person over and over and over again in my life. Mm. And I was attracting them from an inauthentic place, from old patterns. So that was sort of my journey to truth, right? Didn't realize it at the time, but I was ready for things to be different. I was ready for things to look different and didn't know how to to change them because I I thought I was making different choices, but those different choices were attracting that same type of person. And so I went on a journey to undo what wasn't me, to undo my inherited patterns so that I could really move into and live a life that actually was true to me and a life that honored me. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's interesting today how we are disguised by what we think we're doing, by what we think we're living. I know you work with people all over the globe, you know, and and for many people, you, you know, what does this idea look like for them? You know, the whole idea of not choosing or not really participating in life. You know, what does this look like for people? Can we even see this for ourselves, Deb? Um, Well, you know, some, I mean, a lot of times people hire a coach like me to help them identify that, but sometimes it's really blatantly obvious, right? You're like, oh my gosh, especially when it's like comes to like the same type of person showing up in your life over and over. And sometimes it's a little bit uh, less obvious. Maybe it's a pattern of scarcity where you always feel like you're running out of time or you always feel like you're running out of money and you're all, I mean, you know, so many, um, so many of us can relate to some form of scarcity in, um, in our lives. And so really, it's like, when you know you want your life to look different, when you know you want your life to, um, to really be one of your true choosing versus these, um, 
things that we've taken on from our parents. So it's like if you grew up with a story from one of your parents uh, when you were a kid where you were like your your mom was always maybe she was always putting herself second or something like that or she was always struggling with money and so it's like if you grew up with that story um and then you just went into your adulthood thinking that that's just the way that it is that that's just what truth looks like to me um that's how you know when you're not really in your truth and you're in someone else's truth yeah you know when we get to look at ourselves and look at our lives it's really fascinating to do this you know, uh, and we get to make a decision about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. You know, part of this is looking at how to take that first step. You know, how do you begin to live a life that's true for you? How do we do that? We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk with Deb about that. How do we take that step? What does it look like? You know, are we stepping into a place that is uncomfortable for us? And is that okay? We're going to take a short break. You're listening to Dr. Pat Show. I'm introducing you to one of our fabulous, fabulous talk show hosts, Deb Acker, Living From Your Truth. When we come back, we're going to talk about what that means to take that step. We're going to talk about her upcoming radio show, and we also have special gift for all of you. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. What do you mean? Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basili is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all, a healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. During the month of October, Dr. Darvish and the Holistic Medical Team are promoting Breast Cancer Awareness Month with 25% off breast thermography. Safe, painless, radiation-free, and accurate. Purchase your breast thermography screening for 25% off now until October 31st to receive this special. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Do you want to transform your life's trauma and challenges into the gift that your life was meant to be? It's time for you to take control of your soul journey to heal, grow, and shine. Manifest your destiny with Wendy Wolf, soul transformer, energy, and psychic healer. To start your soul journey, contact Wendy at healgrowshine.com or email Wendy at wendy at wendyrwolf.com and start your adventure today. Hey, everybody. It's so great to be, wow, introducing you to one of our newest members of our radio family, Deb Acker, her show. And this is what I'm so excited about. We're going to talk about it here in a minute, you know, but living from your truth. 
you know, this is really part of what she does. You know, you can join us today as intuitive guide and truth and transformation coach. Deb Acker is here to talk with us about what does it mean to undo our childhood conditioning, you know, tap into intuition, because that's actually what we're talking about and speak and honor the truth, right? To live in a world where we can be fully present and open the door for new revelations. You know, why do we want to do that? Because it enables us to feel lighter in the journey, get rid of those cement boots, and become more expansive. You know, Deb, it's great to have you here. Um, Let's talk about where people begin. How do we begin to live a life that's true for us? Um, And, you know, what that really points to is that this is not a one-size-fits-all conversation, is it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But, you know, you can kind of categorize how you begin to live a a life that's true to you by really looking at what you define as not true to you and really what your desires are. For example, if you've moved into your, into a career that maybe, you know, in your family, there's a bunch of doctors or lawyers and you're, and you've just moved in sort of in an unconscious way or just following that family pattern and you you know, desire to do something creative, that can be something where maybe you're not being fully true to yourself. Or even with your career, if, if the thing that you're doing is, um, is, is really not, like you're not excited about it, you're not excited to be there, you're not excited to really step into, it, to, into that, that can be a way that you know, you're not honoring yourself or not being true to yourself. Same thing with relationships. Maybe you've taken on that you just you know, need to get married and need to have those kids and that's something you, you grew up sort of with that idea with that you know that that was the way it was supposed to supposed to be and the partner that you're with you don't feel fully aligned with those are ways that you know maybe you might not be living fully in your truth and it's starting to open and recognize is this does this really make me happy is this what I really really want to do and if I if I was just choosing for me what would that look like Uh, The other piece of this, too, is just really recognizing that we came here to, that we are abundant, infinite individuals, right? And we came here to really step into and honor the powerful individual that we came here to be. And so to really start to own that, and if you're playing small in some area of your life because you're scared scared or from that uh, place of fear, that's where the opportunity lies, Well, you know, let's talk about fear for a minute if we could, you know, because fear, doubt, you know, this is an energy and a vibration. And and for many of us, you know, there is actually a fear to face the truth of who we are. I mean, that in itself is mind boggling. And it's not something that, you, you know, I found that I can do on my own. You know, how do we have this reflection that can happen through the eyes of another person and and what would inspire people to take that leap well okay so you have to really really want it bad right you have to really really want to change (laughs) that desire if that desire is not there um then yeah you're right it is you're it is going to just be where you're going from um you know life day to day so really really wanting it bad is really really um important the other piece to this is just really um, with fear, like asking yourself, why is this in my field right now? Like everything that happens in our life, everything that shows up, the way people show up for us, the way things, the way we encounter different things, everything is there to help us grow, help us teach us something, help us learn something about ourselves. So you can always be tuning in. You can always be asking yourself, why is this in my field? What is this here to show me? What is this here to help me learn? How is this here to help me grow? In our lives, and I know this is really something that you work with people every day about, you know, bringing the conversation to the forefront. We don't really think about whether or not we're coming from a place of, of truth and how it affects our bank accounts, how it affects our jobs, how it affects the places that we want to go in life. And, you know, I want to ask you this question because we will settle and play small, right? You know, we will play small and try to figure things out at kind of the level that the the problem or the situation came from, right? So many times what happens, and I would love for you to talk about this because this is really the conversation about intuition. You know, many times for me, Deb, you know, I've tried to figure something out 
at a nuts and bolts level, right? My dad was a mechanic. So we learned early on in kids how to change spark plugs, right? How to, you, you know what I'm saying? But yes. here's what I want to ask you about. I remember one time my dad said to us, you're never going to get that spark plug in the car with you trying to see it and look at it. I want you to feel the, you, you know, I want you to feel the ridges as you're putting it in. And I want you to be able to feel how this is going to fit and it will go in easily. My dad was saying, even in a spark plug in the car, it ain't all about the mind. <laughs> it's yes. not all about what you see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and so I do reframes on my Twitter and on my Facebook page, but one of the reframes was that the mind can change it, but the feeling will change it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we get so focused around, I'm going to think my way out of that. And how does like, like does how often does that actually really change it for you, right? How often does it's like you can change it through the mind, but when you drop into that heart space, when you really desire it from your heart, the universe wants everything that you want for yourself. And so when you drop into that heart space and really open to to that vibration of love, you know, you were talking about um, vibrations earlier and that fear. It's like when you really open into that vibration of love, into that vibration of just really desiring something from the space of really being in alignment, um, the, the universe wants that for you too. The other key really to intuition, there's a couple of keys, right? It's noticing like intuition comes in usually within the first two to three seconds um, when you ask a question or when you're trying to tune in. So if it goes any longer, you're back in that mind space. So really, really noticing, um, you know, the first thing that pops in without you being um, up in your head, that's your intuition. The other thing that is not often talked is not talked about often enough is really just noticing with our intuition. Intuition can come in several ways. It can come in through your seeing, it can come in through hearing, but it can also come in through feeling and knowing, right? And in this physical world, we're used to being in that seeing and hearing space. We're like, well, I'm not intuitive because I can't see something or I can't hear something. But when you get that gut feeling or you have a knowing around something, which is a lot less tangible, that can also be your intuition. And we're not taught often enough to really focus on that and to really... Um, connect into that. So that's, it's really, really important to become aware of how your intuition comes in for you and that you can grow and hone all for um, all different kinds of intuition. You know, this is really a tying back into this idea about truth, you know, and opening up to new uh, ideas about truth that come into our lives. And I wanted to ask you uh, about, you know, the three part video series on choosing you that you've put together. I love the whole, I love the phrase, Deb, choosing you, choosing you. And it is so hard for so many people to even contemplate doing that. It's like, well, let me ask you, Deb, well, wait a minute, I'm going to choose me, right? I, I'm going to do it after my laundry is done, after my nine to, nine to 10 o'clock at night job is done. Maybe I'm going to do it after I put the kids to bed. Maybe I'm going to be doing it after this and doing that. And, you know, the flip side of that is we are told in our society that we are borderline narcissistic. But yet, but yet, we don't really know how to choose you. We don't really know how to choose ourselves in this venue. Tell me a little bit about what the video series is and what you've discovered. Well, exactly. It's like we get so conditioned that choosing us is wrong mm -hmm. that it's, you know, and then it's, but it's, it's going back to really when you're on that airplane and they say you have to put the mask on first before you can help another. This, that's the same thing that applies to choosing you. And in this series, what I, what I talk about is really how to put yourself first and what it looks like to not put yourself first. Um, mm -hmm. What it looks like when you're looking outside of yourself for that value and happiness, which we mainly do, or many times we do in our career, where we think our career defines us. Or in our relationships with our partner, where again, our partner defines us or, you know, it's our, our partners, the way that person looks or the way that person, how much money they make, says something about us. And when you can return to you and know that you're enough and that you hold all of the answers, 
I mean, it, that's, it makes all the difference in the world. That's, a, that's living from a new space of truth. Uh, the other thing I talked, the third video is really about living in presence. And again, that's really about being in your truth. Because it's like we came here to be present. We came here to be in the moment. We came here to be in the now. And that's what um, the series is really all about, just choosing you and living um, from a new space of presence. You know, one of the things we'll talk about when we come back is, you know, what is this actually living from truth? You know, what does it take us? Where does it take us? How do we begin, you know, when when we show up and we're living from truth, what can we expect? How is our life going to change? You know, what might we do that we wouldn't have done yesterday? You know, and what can we do to say goodbye to fear? And how does choosing truth and choosing you help eliminate that? You can, uh, Deb, let's take a minute and tell folks how they can find out more about you. What's the best website, Facebook, Twitter, tell folks? Um, so you could head to DeborahAcker.com. That's my website. So DeborahAcker.com. That's just D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And um, you can find me on Twitter as well at Deborah Acker. Um, my Facebook page is just uh, Deborah Acker Coaching or Deborah Acker Transformational Coaching. And then um, you can also find out about this video series at bit.ly slash choose dash you. So just bit.ly slash choose dash you. So um, those are different, the different ways you could find out about me. Sweet. We're going to take a short break, everyone. When we come back, we're going to talk about how intuition guides Deb and how Deb guides others towards intuition. It's just like a big circle of amazing knowing energy. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. A morning filled with dynamic, inspirational music, spirituality, and uplifting messages by T.J. Woodward. Come and connect with community conversations and awaken your senses. Awakened Living Sundays with T.J. Woodward. Join T.J. every Sunday in the San Francisco Bay Area Chapel at Fort Mason and live streaming online 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Pacific Time. To learn more and access the live stream, visit www.awakenedlivingsf.org. Has asthma or allergies got you singing the raspy blues? Allergy and Asthma Networks is the nation's premier nonprofit patient centered network of doctors, caregivers, patients, and healthcare professionals who are dedicated to ending death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions. Join President and CEO Tanya Winders each month on the Dr. Pat Show to learn more and visit allergyasthmanetwork.org today. Breathe better together with Allergy and Asthma Network. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The BARS is the first class in Access Consciousness, a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a BARS session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a BARS class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. 
or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Wow, everyone, welcome back. Hey, for more information about us, go to transformationtalkradio.com or you can go to, oh, Jessica's going to have to help me with this or maybe Justin. Uh, Facebook, The Dr. Pat Show. Twitter, The Dr. Pat Show. And people ask me, well, if I go there, like why, how am I going to find out about these other places? You know what the truth of that answer is? I don't know. But Jessica, Justin, and Maria know. Um, but go to the drpatshow.com and uh, go to uh, and Justin, just just why don't you Skype me, Justin, and give me your transformation information. I know you're saying you really don't know that, Pat. No, I don't. The truth is, I really don't know that. But I'm, I promise I'll get better. Uh, but Deb Acker knows how you can get a hold of her for sure. And Deb, before we even get into the fear thing, tell us about the radio show. Awesome. Well, I am so, so, so super excited about this show. It's called Truth Talk. Um, you can find out more information about it at t- truthtalkradioshow.com. Um, and really the intention that I set with the show and really what I wanted to bring light to is really one thing is, is really people pursuing their passions and really living a life that's true for them. And one of the questions, one of the things I really want to focus on in this show is really the one thing, you know, that each of my guests that want to bring truth to, want to bring light to, and how they see that changing the world. And so really, the show is really all about if you're looking to feel lighter, if you're looking to, like, um, to feel that passion towards moving towards the, a life that's true for you, a life that really you're truly excited about. Um, that's what this show is all about. So I'm so, so, so super excited. Um, it's Wednesdays uh, at 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, um, starting next Wednesday. So a little over a week from now. So I'm so, so super excited to be um, to be starting that. Yeah, I am just blown away. I'm excited about it. Now, okay, this is now the lead-in, right, to the conversation that we were having before the break. This is, this is it. Okay, here you are, jumping in, deep end of the pool. Boom, there you are, going to a radio show. Uh, now, here's the question. What is the relationship of intuition and fear? And, you know, how did this apply to you? I mean, for me, you've heard me talk about this. I dialed a wrong phone number and I didn't hang up. And within 10 minutes, I bought my first hour of airtime. There's nothing logical or left-brained about that whatsoever. Even to this day, I know that there was something intuitively going on. I didn't know why, I didn't know how, and I didn't know where we're going. How does this show up for people? Did it show up for you? And how do we work, do a workaround for the fear thing? Yeah, so, you know, for me with this radio show, right, one of my big patterns is being visible. And, you know, there's sort of just this deep-seated um, inherent energy emotion that lives within me about a fear around that, you know, around being visible and ra- wanting to put myself out there, right? So I received guidance that I needed to do a radio show. And I, and I you know, the my initial go-to was really wanting to like resist that and say, no, that's not, no, I don't want to do that. Right. And it's, for me, it was really about like recognizing it's like part of why that patterning is in, is in me around being, you know, about a fear of being visible is for me so that I can really choose from an authentic space to be seen, to put myself out there in that real way. So with the radio show, I would say that that was definitely, um, uh, you know, it was definitely part of this, like mm-hmm. this guidance, this intuition. Another cool thing I would say, so it's like really with intuition, it's just like, like I always, I'll ask questions, I'll put questions out there and putting questions out there for me just is really all about um, just literally, I'll say it out loud. What should I do in this situation? And the way that I even got tuned into coaching was literally by putting out there, what is my next step? And I kid you not, three days later, um, I am sitting in a workshop with 
uh, Jennifer McLean. Some of you guys may know her from Healing yeah. with the Masters. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting in a workshop with her, and she was coaching someone and opened it up to the people in the workshop to coach. And completely unconsciously, I started giving the person who was on the stage guidance And Jennifer came up to me during the break and said, would you want to coach for the program that I was taking with her? And so that was my first entry into coaching. So it's proof, you know, obviously I know everyone has their own path and sometimes it's, it can take a little bit longer than three days. I was very, very lucky. Um, But it's proof that when you ask the universe answers and even recognizing that, you know, if you don't receive an answer, that's also good information too. So um, I definitely encourage you to, to just, like, look for the signs. There are signs everywhere, um, especially, too, if you're getting um, seeing the same person's name over and over again or there's some sort of synchronicity that keeps happening over and over and over to really tune into that and to really, um, to really take note of that. Wow. I, you know, this is – I love this conversation because, I mean, the only way I think I know how to talk about it is to talk about what happens when we're not living from our truth. So let's have a moment of that if we could. Um, I think it's hard for people to visualize themselves living from their truth, right? I think it's hard for them. But we're, we get really good insight, Deb, I think, about scenarios, situations, what happens when we don't live from our truth and how life shows up. What are some of the, and this is my language now, not yours, but what are some of the consequences if we can go down this road for a little bit from when we don't live from our truth? Well, things won't feel aligned, right? You know, I mean, it's mm-hmm. interesting, right? Because people perceive mm-hmm. losing their job as a bad thing. I mean, that's, I mean, and it's understandably, like it can be scary in the beginning and it can feel like it's bad, right? But you'll reach roadblock after roadblock. So, you know, maybe the first, you know, uh, hint that the universe gives you is that your boss, um, gives you negative feedback about a project that you did and then from there it builds to maybe a performance review and then maybe it builds to finally you losing your job if you sort of open to okay well this first piece when my boss gave me a bunch of negative feedback about some of the work I was doing was meant to help to show me something and so what was this meant to help to show me where is this uh guiding me what is the opportunity in this and so sometimes it is just the opportunity to improve and grow and sometimes it is the idea that you know hey it's time to start to shift gears it's time it's time to start to go um on a different path so sometimes what we view as not being in flow you know, maybe you take a pay cut or something like that is actually the universe meant to, uh, trying to show you, hey, something isn't working here. Tune into that and to start to open to, you know, maybe something else that you're wanting to, uh, you know, wanting to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, part of what happens is you go down a path where you get stuck, you end up in a pothole and you don't know how to get out. And I know that you know this because you work with people all over about this. You know, this is what coaching is about. But this in particular, this idea of living from your truth is something that you do on a day-to-day basis with people all over the world. I want to ask you a question about this. Is how do you have, how do you help the people that you work with, your clients? How do you help these folks tap into their intuition? Where do we even begin to start? Where do we start? Well, I start with patterns, right? So uh, um, one the of the things... The pattern. The dreaded pattern. Yes, exactly. It shocks us. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I'll start with a pattern. And so I'm able to see, you know, somebody will come to me with one thing specifically that they need to, or they're desiring to work on. And I'm able to see where that's showing up in every single area of their life. And the way that I describe the work that I do is like this. You know, it's like we have this pattern and we're like, we don't get the fact that everybody is showing up for us in our life today. Um, as we need them to show up, right? So everything is, um, everyone and everything is coming into our, our space based on, how, you know, an energy that's potentially an energy emotion that's potentially stored in our body, right? Mm-hmm. So the way that I say it is like this. 
that energy, that pattern really stem, usually stems from a childhood moment. Maybe it was traumatic and maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's something small. And that childhood moment, maybe a, w the way that a parent showed up for you, um, carries a ton of energy, right? It carries a ton of emotion. Maybe there were certain conclusions that you made from it. Um, maybe you weren't able to say what you needed to say in that moment because obviously you were just a little, um, a little child. And mm -hmm. so once you take the energy off of the original moment that keeps these people that are coming into your life um, in your present day showing up for you the way that you need that, them to show up for you to really um, unveil and reveal uh, what you know you need to see so that you can open to and heal any piece of uh, stored emotion or stored energy that's in your body so once you go back to that original moment you take the energy off of that moment you get you give that little child the opportunity to say what they needed to say to um you know uh, open to the conclusions that were made in that moment and you bring awareness to those um, conclusions that were made once you do that, you take the energy off the moment, the pattern no longer holds energy, and then all of a sudden, even without even having to have conversations many times, you're able, um, people show up for you differently, you start mm -hmm. attracting different things, and you start moving from that new space of truth. Wow. We're going to take a short break when we come back. We're going to review some tips, some help, some information. I want to make sure you guys know how to get this video series from Deb Acker, and we're going to tell you again how you can tune into her show. It's kind of it's exciting. It is exciting. Are you ready? Are you ready for? Are you ready for the truth? That's the question. Are you ready for the truth? You know, it's a famous line from that famous movie, right? Tom Cruise. Jack yes. Nicholson. <laughs> famous line. You can't handle the truth. Let's take a short break. Let's see how true that statement is. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's not simple to say but most days I don't recognize me at these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pat. Have you ever noticed that this reality doesn't actually work in a way that helps you thrive? I'm thrilled to announce that one of my good friends and colleagues, Dr. Glenna Rice, is bringing the incredible world of Access Consciousness to Seattle this December. You can register and learn more for the course that's coming up on December 4th by visiting Dr. Glenna Events. Com. And when you're there, you're also going to find another event coming up in January that Gary Douglas is doing himself. So register now and wonder no more. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We Carry the Light with host Dr. Susan Allison is the show that inspires you to find the light within and shine your light in the world. You'll hear from guests who model how to be the highest, brightest, most evolved, fulfilled, and conscious humans possible. Tune in each Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com and let Dr. Susan help you discover that you carry the unique light that only you can shine. In retirement, will you outlive your money? It's a common question for people approaching retirement, but it doesn't need to weigh on you. Ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step -step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman, Financial Advisor, today at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601-108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., member of FINRA and SIPC. 
Let the transition begin. Tune in to the hit show, Majestic Insights Radio, Success for Life's Transitions, with host Carrie Keith. Carrie is a gifted intuitive coach, healer, and teacher who will lead you through her empowering techniques of ancient wisdom and awareness so you can live your happiest, healthiest, and most vibrant life. Let Carrie teach you the tools of transformation that will help you experience success for all of life's transitions. To learn more about Carrie, visit www.majesticinsights.com. She tries, she is good, but she lies, she is hard on herself, mm. she is broken. Oh boy, thank you Benny for that, wow. Deb Acker joining us here today. So for those of you that want to find out more about her, you can go to her website, which is deborahacker.com, D-E-B. O R A H Acker A C K E R dot com. Uh, and you'll be able to get yourself a lot of information. But, you know, if you're ready to begin begin living life for you, then you'll be able to get her free three part video series on choosing you. And I want to tell you it's a really great start for those of you out there that are just like this is like incomprehensible. I cannot even imagine choosing me. Um, and I know many of you do. And I'm not just going to say this, but yeah, it, 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 for many of you, listen, you're women. And this is really a tough deal for you. I know it is. It's a tough deal for me. Um, Deb, thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm excited about the upcoming radio show and, and all you're doing. And we're talking about, you know, getting people started, getting things kick-started and, you know, moving forward. Now, I know you're going to be doing this all through your show. I know. What excites you most about your upcoming show? I'm most excited for a platform for people that are showing up from a space of truth, from a space of really honoring themselves, to give people that platform to really bring awareness that this can be done, right? That nothing is impossible and that there are um, all kinds of people choosing this every single day. That, and that it's it's something that you can do too. And so just really to give people that platform to really share their passion, to bring in new awarenesses, to really talk about um, the impact that they're making in the world. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Wow. All right, here we are. We're sitting on we're sitting on the edge, right? We want to take the leap. We want to get there. You know, we want to hone in. We want to make it work. How do we go about this? Give us some tips. You know, what What have you seen, you know, with people that have been able to break the pattern? So, you know, the type of clients that I really um, work with are the clients that are looking to other people and to other situations for answers. The, the type of clients that, um, I mean, we all have sort of that pattern of like feeling like we're not enough on some, some way, in some way. And so, you know, maybe they're, they've attracted the same type of person into their life over and over again. Uh, and over again, maybe they're like, well, I don't know what my um, life purpose is. And so once we take away everything, like I said, those inherited truths, those inherited patterns, everything that's really not you, you're able to open, my clients open to really what their life purpose is. They're able to attract uh, a partner from authenticity because it's it's my belief or many times what I see, especially if you're, um, you know, into your 30s and 40s and 50s, um, especially, uh, you know, as a woman, many times if we, we haven't, you know, settled down with that partner at that point, it's because we set it up to learn how to be true to ourselves so that we could call in that relationship to also to have that authentic truth, to really be able to share from that space of truth um, and to be able to really honor ourselves versus just attracting a guy just because, hey, you know, um, well, he's, he's, he's alive. He's breathing. I'm breathing. <laughs> and so, Hey, that works out great. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So many times I'm working with people that are feeling lost in some way in their life, um, mm-hmm. or feel like they don't have enough money or enough time and they're looking, they're ready for things to really be different. You know, that isn't that the first thing right there. So let's talk about this real quick. I know we've got a few, I know we've got about five minutes left here, but I want to get to this. What are some of the signs that we're not living from truth? And I think one of the things you talked about or what I'm picking up here is that, you know, all of a sudden we are uncomfortable in our lives. We are unhappy. So is that a sign on happiness? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it can be where you're just, you're feeling lost. You don't know really what your next step is. You're, I mean, you know, like I said, one of my clients haven't smiled in 18 months. I mean, that, that's obviously a, a bit more of a, like on the drastic end of not being happy, but it's like, you know, you feel that heaviness in your body. I mean, we all walk around and it's like, it's like that inherent human heaviness, right? So you're, you feel heavy, you don't feel well, maybe you're stressed out, maybe you're facing, you know, you have a lot of anxiety and you keep looking to the you know the world outside of you for that those answers for that knowing that you're enough and so really um you know i work with people that are ready for life to look differently and basically they're at the point that you know they would do anything to see that um look different and and they've maybe tried a lot of things right like i tend to see a lot of clients who have been in um therapy and haven't had results in therapy because i mean i can tell you even from my own personal experience it's like you it's great you know you have the awareness you keep telling the same story over and over but because um many therapists don't work with energy you're not energetically changing it right so you know i would come in from week to week telling the same story and yet we weren't doing anything to to move that pattern out to move that energy out so that it could really shift and I could actually start to um, see different results. So I'll work with people, you know, the time that you could spend in therapy a year, two years, maybe even more, I can uh, usually cover that ground in as little as one to three sessions and really shift a pattern um, in a really extensively uh, short period of time. So which is super, super exciting. Yeah, because one of the things that coaching is all about is to get to a solution. You know, it's not just about getting to a revelation where you understand what's going on, but it's about action, too. I mean, this is really one of the fundamental difference, differences between therapy and coaching is that, you know, there is a call to action, and that is to change one's life, right? Exactly. It's to change one's life, and I believe... Um, mm -hmm. with all my clients and really holding that space for them mm -hmm. to be as big as they want to be, right? And so mm -hmm. because I hold a big space for them to move into, they move and they move extremely qu um, quickly, which is so super, super exciting. Wow. You know, there's so much that we get to reveal and uncover when we're willing to take the road or, you know, go down the pathway of discovering ourselves, you know, and, and, and who we are and who we're meant to be. Because this isn't this also part of the conversation of when we have, when, you know, when we're talking about choosing you, right? There's a reason that, you know, we're here talking about choosing you. Uh, what happens when we choose ourselves? Because whatever we're doing now, isn't that getting in the way of experiencing life to the fullest? Right. If you're moving from your patterns, then, you know, many times you're stopping yourself from being fully aligned, right? Because you're not, you're in someone else's alignment, you're in someone else's truth. And so as you undo these patterns, you move into that new alignment and you move into this world of magic and miracles and flow like beyond your wildest dreams where, you know, you get to that space where you wake up to the truth of who you are and you see the beauty of everything that's around you, even the things that maybe, you know, uh, prior to you wouldn't have seen as beautiful. And you just live in this new space of presence. And that presence is so extremely powerful. Wow. You know, we've talked about so much. One more time. First of all, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, one more time, tell folks about the radio show. And then just want to know your personal message. What would you like to leave us with today? Um, so the radio show, again, I'm super excited to be moving. It's truthtalkradioshow.com. Uh, you can go to my website at deboraacker.com. Um, and basically, I would leave you with that if you feel called to what we talked about today that you if you really feel like um you know there's something calling you to live a more truthful life um it's one step at a time you can do it and definitely don't hesitate to reach out to me um i do a discovery session a 30 minute complimentary discovery session if this work calls to you okay how, what's the best way for people to uh, call you or connect with you? How can they reach out to you? And, you know, for many people listening now and the folks that are going to listen here in the future. Uh, just head to uh, com, And actually, um, even on my page two for that session, there's Good. a place to go ahead and schedule. So wow. perfect. 
Deborah. I am so happy. I'm excited to be working with you. Everything was wonderful and coming together. It is amazing. I love what I do and I love you, Deb. Thank you so much for all you do in the world. Thank you so much, Dr. Peck, for having me on the show. So honored to be here. Boom. I'll tell you what, more to come from Deb. Yep, let's take a short break. We'll be right back, everyone.